fucking rich. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm okay, Maria. No. Oh, you I'm just just like this. Back go. Don't walk with him right there. Have you seen him? God. How are you, bro? Hero? Huh? Broadcasting live from Warship Studio here in France. Hi, my name is Jesse. I am your host and you're watching G3 TV. Our guests tonight are three of the top highest ranking heroes in Japan, two of whom share more than just a job. An apartment, please welcome Todoroki Shoto, Bakugo Katsuki and Deku. It is so nice to have you here tonight. So, Todoroki and Bakugo, the videos about you living together have been shared online and are quite interesting to say the least. Those were shocking news and G3 TV tasked me with digging deeper into it. Especially given the content of these videos, I mean, the points that you both highlight about each other are sometimes quite touching. Can you tell us a bit more about this? The girl. I thought the video was only for the anger management class. I only share mine with you, Maria. I just sent it to Umaraka. You might have sent it to Mina. You might have sent it to Denki. I hate to kill him. This is all your fault. I'm sorry. Does the whole internet so video? I mean, I'm not surprised. It's the internet half and half. But men might not see it. Oh, it's okay, love. I'm sure he's proud of you. Probably. Um, so these videos have, understandably, piqued quite some interest within the public and our viewers could love to know you all three on a more personal level. Um, so we've asked our viewers to share any questions they might have for tonight's show and here's what they have sent us. So the first question comes from Macy and goes to Deku. <clears throat> so Deku, uh, Macy would like to know, are you sure you're not in love with the hospital bed? What? <clears throat> no, 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 I mean, no, that would be very weird. <laughs> Yes, um, that is a question that uh, we've all started asking uh, after the sports festival. Well, we do have a follow-up question. Um, do you know all the bones in your body? Maybe the doctors have started naming them after you broke each one of them. Yes. Every single one of them. I can still hear them crack! <laughs> okay, um, very funny. Let's turn to somebody a bit more sensible. Let's turn to Todoroki Shoto. Hi, how are you doing tonight? I'm great, thanks. Oh, what a sweetheart. <laughs> um, so we have a question from Nibon Junior who asks, uh, when you sneeze, have you ever burned or frozen someone or something? I mean, it'd be quite likely considering um, quirk incident makeup of the biggest percentage of urgent care visits and since you were born with two quirks. I mean, it could have happened, right? Well, actually, Yes, I did when I was younger. Uh, it's happened more often than I thought. And mostly on my bad things. How practical. <laughs> How practical indeed. Oh no, it's time to turn to Bakugo Katsuki. So, Bakugo, we do have a question from Kawa. Que pensez-vous de Yue au regard des erreurs inadmissibles commises durant le festival sportif dont vous avez été la victime Une enquête a-t-elle été ouverte pour maltraitance puisque vous avez été tout de même enchaînée, muselée et dans l'impunité la plus totale qui plus est I don't know Nothing What the fuck Next question Don't have anything to say, do you mm -hmm. Of 
course you don't. Um, now back to Deku. Deku, we have a question from Sam who asks, what is your fondest memory with your friends? Come on, give us all these details. Oh yes, yes indeed. I have one actually. I remember, yes, we had like a very nice summer together. And uh, at some point, I remember Kachan say, Je vais ta mère! And then you ran after me in the forest. I was lost and scared. And he followed me the whole time. No, but I didn't. in the end, he got uh, me back. And so we played some water fight and, uh, and they forgot about me. But it's okay because he died and Ochako picked me up. So, yeah. It was nice. Uh, that is concerning, actually. Um, all right. Moving on. Uh, back to Bakugo, the man man. Uh, we have a question. Uh, did you actually ask Toroki to be your roommate, or did you just scream, Oi, you're my roommate now, Icy Heart? <laughs> no, I didn't. The fuck? I. It was a comment. Can I, ha can I have cool question as well? Fuck. Oof. Uh, how historical. Uh, well, <laughs> would you look at this? It is now time for our commercial break, and I'm going to leave you the mic to our lovely Gigi. Hi, my lovely buddies. My name is Gigi. I'm your favorite idol who's also a TV reporter. <laughs> so many talents. So I'm coming here today to present to you the sponsor of this video. Thank you so much, Boxo, for making this possible. Boxo is a monthly subscription box that comes directly to your house, full of beautiful Japanese candies, teas, snacks that were produced by centuries-old family businesses. And it costs less than $40. So this month, the theme was Sakura in order to honor the Hanami. Let's discover together what this has inside. So each box contains between 20 and 24 items. For example, in this one, we got the Mochan Dango Mochi, we got the Long Dosha, and they're all listed in these very useful little leaflets, along with the allergies. So let's try one together. How about the Matcha Chocolate Cake? So get 10% off your books you order and save up to $47 with our link in the description and code WORSHIP10. So let's try a little bit of this Matcha Cake. Mmm, it's so good. It's seriously so delicious. I want so much more of this one. Like you can really feel the chocolate and the matcha as well. None of them are overpowering each other and they're just lifting the other ingredient up. This is so good. I want to try something else. What else do we have? Oh, we have a cookie here. Mmm, it's super soft. I was expecting it to be more crunchy, but this definitely looks more like a cookie. It smells, well, it tastes a lot like apple. You can definitely smell it. And the caramel as well. And it's so good. It's not like excessively sweet. This is so good. And there are so many we can try from. So kudos to, to Box. This is a really great discovery. Thank you so much for partnering with us. We are very honored. And now I will give back you guys to my favorite old hag, I mean a colleague, <laughs> Jessie. Goodbye, my lovelies. This was Gigi. See you soon. I hate Gigi. Little bitch. Hate that kid. So we're back live on G3 TV. Hi, it's still Jesse. I'm still your host tonight. So uh, let's move on with the interview now. We're going to go to Toroki Shoto uh, with this question from M, who asks, are you a conspiracy theorist? Yeah, I mean, we've all seen um, the theories you have about the Equator Night. Yes. Um, now, well, Deku. We have a question for you. Uh, this one comes from Linda. Has Kachan ever apologized to you? Ignore the cameras. Uh, we're just between us, don't worry. Actually, no. He did not. Mm. 
Well, maybe it would be time, huh? What do you think? Anyway, Bakugu, we have a question for you from Squid. Um, if you didn't have the quirk you have now, which one would you choose between your old classmates? None. They all suck. Mine is better. Wow, yeah. Mm -hmm. That is so interesting. Now let's turn back to Todoroki Shoto with this question um, from Takos. Uh, have you ever wished your hair was full red or full white? White. White is on the other side, idiot. I mean, white. Oh! <laughs> what a funny little man! <laughs> now it's time to turn back to Bakugou. So, Bakugou, we have this question from Ollie who asks uh, Who's your least favorite classmate uh, beside Midoriya? That one over there. That's right. Wow. That is both surprising and not really at the same time. Now, I have this question from That's Illegal, which I found very intriguing. This one goes to Deku. Um, how did All Might's hair taste? I mean, I didn't quite understand. Um... I don't really know what you mean by taste, but uh, it, tastes, it smells like uh, Old Spice, I can say. Um, uh, okay, yes, I... All right, moving on. So back to Bakugo. We have this question from Rose who'd like to know, uh, do you like to hear the name Ground Zero better than Lord Explosion Murder? No, Lord Explosion Murder. It's a great hero name. Love it. You have to admit, Version Murder is quite ridiculous. What? No, it's not. Fucking tell them, it's a cool name. Right? Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Right. Whatever. Uh, back to my favorites, uh, guess. No, I don't have any favorites. Uh, back to Toroku Shoto. <laughs> my sweetie, um, we have this question from Mirlin Lupin who asked, uh, comment ça se passe les réunions de famille? Les quoi? Um... Now, Midoriya, we have a question uh, from Abby who asked, What do you have to say for any quirkless aspiring heroes out there? Actually, that's a good question. You see, having a quirk makes you special, but not having a quirk makes you special as well. You know what? Not having a quirk doesn't define you as a person, it's your action that makes you a hero. Yeah, the new hero is right for once. It's not the quote that makes the hero. <sighs> Let's turn to somebody more sensible. Shoto. Um, I can call you Shoto, right? Yes, I can. Um, we have a question from Basu who asks, uh, if you watched Avatar, how do you feel about Prince Zuko? People have compared you to a lot. Oh, but, but he's gone? Jimmy? It's okay, half and half, come back. He's gone, but uh, he's back. There he is, Jimmy, stay there, stay where you are. Let's move on to Deku with this question from Takos. Do you still look up to Bakugou? Questionable, given that he didn't apologize. What? What is that? What is he doing with his... Uh... Let's not ask any questions. This interview is very tiring. Um, this last question goes to Bakugo. This one comes from Tammy, who asks, your sweat is made of nitroglycerin, which is also used in explosions like fireworks. Have you ever tried to color your explosions? No, I've never tried before. I'm not a chemist. I wouldn't even begin to know where to start. And... Fireworks have very different, don't have just nitroglycerin, so it would be probably dangerous for my health. I don't know how to do it anyway. Wow, would you look at that? It was actually interesting. What a shame it was the last question. Well, yeah, that's it. That's the end of our interview. Thank you all three so much. It was so interesting and not exhausting at all. Don't forget to tune in next time for our next exclusive interview with Extra special guest, which will be very interesting, maybe a little bit illegal. <laughs> uh, you will discover all that first on our
our channel, uh, Worship Studio, during our show G3TV. This was Jesse. Thank you all so much. Good night. Huh? Live? Oh shit, yes! <laughs> hey, my lovely bunnies! It was so great to have you! If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, subscribe to our channel, click that bell button, and don't forget to follow us on our social media. And once again, the code is WORSHIP10. Bye bye! GG! Signing off! Are we done? <laughs>